Alright, so today we're looking at another Mezco 112 Collective figure, and this time it's going to be on The Crow. This is, I think, based off of the movie. I'm not sure. I'm actually very unfamiliar with this character here, but I wanted to check out the figure anyways to see if it was any good, because that's how I ended up uh, liking the Constantine figure that I really wasn't attached to the character at all too much, but I ended up liking the figure a lot once I checked it out. So we're going to check it out here. This is once again brought to you by OneStopToyShop.com. This is where I picked up my Crow and my Constantine and my Predator and pretty much all my Mezcos come from OneStopToyShop.com. He still has some in stock of the three of those that I just listed, but they won't be in stock for too long because he, uh, you know, he did inform me that he is running out. So I would... If you're on the fence on these figures, I would jump on them now before it's too late. Um, he does offer free shipping, so you don't have to worry about that extra shipping charge that Mezco charges on their website. Uh, but here is the side of the box right there. And then here is the back side right here. Where you can see the accessories that he comes with and the figure over here in the corner. We're going to take a look at that, of course, up close right now okay, so here we have the stinger from wcw i mean sorry this is the crow and he actually looks pretty good out of package so he's got some material here some pleather leather fake leather type material looks really good uh, it looks like the same material that uh, masco used on their rumble society pink skulls chaos club gig from hell it feels and looks just like it which i do like it looks really good uh, it fits on very good and even the boots they look familiar i think these are the same ones from the pink skulls chaos club as well uh, with the uh, you know the front uh, tongue of the uh, boot hanging down and it you know it really looks pretty cool i like it so overall first impressions it does look nice the high scope looks really really good uh and i'm pretty impressed with it so we got some holes back here i think this is to attach maybe accessories or maybe they're just rips because it's ripped so he comes with quite a lot and this is what's so good about mezco they always give you a lot of accessories so it really makes it you know that payment well worth it you're not just getting just a figure you're getting a lot of accessories here all right, so first up we have this head sculpt right here. You can see the mouth is kind of slightly opened. Then we get this head sculpt with the mouth opened a little bit more. You can see the teeth and he's a little pissed off there. He's angry. And then lastly, we get Happy Crow here with the, uh, the smile there. So there's a total of four head sculpts. And then we do get this mask accessory right here. Then we do get this little necklace accessory here, very thin and small, so be careful not to lose it. We get this accessory here that's called a weather vane. We get a guitar with an actual leather strap, but the strings are not real. They're just molded and sculpted on there. The guitar looks pretty cool. Then we get his sword here. As far as hands go, we get two grabbing hands here. We can grip an accessory probably for the sword. Then we get these two trigger finger hands here. Looks like you can hold a weapon or a gun with these. Then we have these two open hands. And then we get a left pointing finger hand, it's open as well. And then a right hand with a hole inside of it, looks like he gets stabbed in his hand. And some blood effects there that look very realistic, I love that. That looks really cool. I love how they painted that very well. Then we get this crow shaped flame display here. This is very cool, it's very big, you can see how big it is compared to the figure. Didn't expect it to be this big, but I really like this. We also do get a couple of crows here. One is flying. I think one's supposed to sit on top of a tombstone and one's supposed to sit on him or wherever you want to sit them on, right? So there's the uh, flying one and then the one that's just chilling right there. And then we get Gabriel the cat. Check him out. There you go. And then once again, these were not advertised on the box, but we do get guns. So here are some of the guns he comes with. We get a pistol here with the sliding rack on the top there. Very cool detail and paint. Of course, those have removable magazines, and here are two of them that come with it. Then we get a revolver with an actual working um, chamber here, revolving chamber. Very cool. Got the whole peg hole there, so you can apply any effects you may want. The, uh, the hammer does not pull back, though, but that looks very good. Then we get the pump action shotgun right here that you can actually pump right here. So very cool. That, again, was not advertised at all on the box. And then these right here were on the box. We got a lighter, and then we have a little knife right there. And then last but not least, we have the Eric Draven or Draven tombstone right here. So that is our final accessory. That's a lot of accessories. 
Um, I love the amount of plastic that we're getting here. So really digging it and I'm really digging this this sculpt and paint apps on this tombstone here. It looks very good. It looks very ceramic. All right, so let's take a closer look at the crow and check him out. He actually comes packed in with the trench coat already applied. Um, you can remove it if you want. There's a look at him underneath there. I can already see some of the black dye rubbing on the skin tone of his chest. So that is unfortunate. And that's actually something that happens to all of our Mezcos. But we never see it because it's underneath the clothing. But this time we do see it because we have a rip in the clothing which is supposed to be there. And we can see some dye um, just, you know, just inside the plastic. At that point you cannot remove that. So um, we do get the pleathery, leathery type pants here with the actual string right there so it looks good I mean it looks good and it's on a good buck too it's double jointed elbows on this guy and double jointed knees as well be careful not to overly stretch the uh, the fabric of course because you may rip it and then it starts to flake and that's something we want to avoid just keep that in mind you can double bend it but just be careful with it go a little slow and try not to to rip the fabric but overall um, everything looks good, it looks tailored very well, and everything looks like it's proportionally correct. I don't see anything that looks too oversized or anything like that, so I'm digging that. The head sits on a separate uh, neck joint, so it's not combined with the neck, that's what I mean by that. So that allows him to really move the head a little bit more than you would if it was attached. So you go left and right, goes up. And down. I would be careful with his hair. It's very hard plastic, spiky-ish kinda, and it might stab into the pleather, fake leather, <laughs> whatever, uh, collar there, and it might start to flake it off over time. I, I mean, I don't know. It's just a guess, but I would still be careful. Uh, arms are gonna stretch out pretty far, regardless of the fabric there in the way. So that's good. As far as forward, of course, this is, you know, to be expected. It gets all mangled up in there with the fabric, so it can only go so far. So, of course, if you, if you remove the, the coat, then you're going to be able to move it a little bit more. We do get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. I want to say this is on a, uh, on a Gomez body, but I'm not 100% sure since I'm not uh, collecting every single Mezco figure out there. Not, not really up to date with all the Mezcos, but it seems like it's one of the... Um, one of the Gomez bodies, uh, at the very least a Spider-Man body or something. It's probably the same one Constantine is on right now because that one has a very, uh, you know, slender body with articulation everywhere. So it's good to see. There's a wrist swivel with a ball jointed hinge. Uh, as for the torso, we do get an ab diaphragm joint, but we do get some thick fabric there on the torso that kind of hinders the movement not as much as you would uh, want it to but you can still twist them tilt them and crunch forward and back as for the waist there is a waist swivel again be careful with the fabric legs will kick forward that's about as far as i'm comfortable with you know stretching the fabric out not too bad in and out not too bad either there is a thigh swivel double joint to knees as i mentioned ankles will Hinge forward and back. It's a little tight though. When it comes to boots, it's always a little tight, so you're really not going to get a lot of motion out of it. There's a swivel there, and that's about it. So here's a quick comparison next to the Predator, the Jungle Hunter Predator Mezco 112 Collective figure, which of course stands tall, as he should, over the crow. And then here we have him next to Constantine, which I just reviewed, and he, I mean, these figures pretty much released all at the same time. So uh, I'm, you know, basically just comparing the most recent Mezco 112 Collective releases side by side right now. But here we have Constantine with the Crow here. He does stand a little shorter than Crow. So once again, these are the three most recent Mezco releases for their 112 Collective line. I picked all of mine up from OneStopToyShop.com. Free shipping, absolutely free shipping. So that made it that much better. And these are not going to last long. And they're actually pretty darn good. I would say my favorite might be Constantine, I gotta be honest, and honestly, Crow is right next to it just because of that articulation and just all the accessories that he comes with. The single joint elbow on Predator, it's a little, it bugs me just a little bit, but man, it's a gorgeous figure and the light up features on that mask and cannon is just pretty sweet, honestly. It looks really good when it's, it's all lit up, but I'm really happy overall with these three right here. What a way to end the year. Uh, Mezco has been recently taking a quite a long time to release their licensed product for whatever reason. 
but it's nice to see that it's finally starting to trickle out and you can just see that the quality has not uh, downgraded at all it's actually pretty darn good and maybe the delays are doing these figures a favor and they might be coming out at a better uh, state than maybe what they would have initially came out if they were rushed out so I don't know I'm not trying to justify the delays here if they annoy me to the fullest but at least at the very least we're getting the figures and they look very good I mean these these are very quality Mezco 112 collective figures all in all i really love them and i would like to know your thoughts on the crow let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always guys take care take it easy and i will catch you on the next one bye